Hello and welcome to a car that I have not raced on the channel in a while, the Formula V. And the reason I'm racing it is because we're at Ridskogen, or however it's pronounced. <laughs> um, normally I don't do the rookie uh, level races on the channel because it's uh, the repeated same track combos over and over again because it's always free stuff. But we've never been here in the Formula V, so... Uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to get out here pretty quick since these laps are a minute and a half long. I think we'd have plenty of time, but um, we are the number four car here today in the top split. Uh, we've got some guys that I am not going to be able to beat, <laughs> and I'll explain that in a moment. But uh, I'm... Uh, I'm Pretty excited because I love this track, but at, on the other hand, I think this track is much too big. I think it's going to be much too big for the Formula V. Um, we may not see this track too much more in future Formula V schedules, potentially. I don't know, it, it might be kind of okay. Um, but when the Formula V first came out, uh, and they were figuring out what tracks worked. So there were a couple other tracks you don't really see, or at least layouts that you don't really see anymore uh, on the Formula V schedule, at least in favor for some of the other shorter layouts. So, um, I don't know. We'll see how it races. Uh, I think, you know, driving alone is fun. That's just fine. The problem is I think there's going to be a whole lot of draft going on. This is just kind of too big. I mean, I think Lime Rock's a little big for the Formula V. So, if that green tells flag, one thing. Um, hopefully we'll get an okay run to the line here. I didn't even really think about it until I was most of the way through that corner. But I guess that's fine. Okay. I like to shift about 6,500 RPM. And I guess I'll talk about how I take these laps. So I'm going to hit the brakes at the 50 sign and immediately shift into third. Kind of hit that little apex there and then roll right along this rumble strip. You don't really have to use up the whole track since the V is so underpowered. It's kind of good just to take the shortest way around a lot of the time. Then coming around over here, I'm kind of kind of watch that 50 sign over there as my turning point and then just kind of lift off lightly, heading for the apex there, shifting mid corner to third, and then waiting to get on gas long enough so that way I can get turned over here and then you can take this flat out if you hit it just right you can get onto that green portion of the curb without much trouble again I'm gonna roll onto the rumble strip there and uh, I think I'm not gonna shift heading into this corner and then you have to really wait to get back onto the gas here ooh I still almost uh, went off track there. Really, that corner is very sharp. Here I just lift off, making sure to have a little bit, oh, I went wide there, a little bit of throttle in the car, because that can prevent, uh, on these cold tires especially, having a little bit of throttle on the Formula V can prevent it from just spinning on you. But uh, there are some of my thoughts <laughs> heading through the first lap. I don't think that was a very good lap, especially because of that push I had. But, um, hopefully it'll be okay-ish. So, 50 sign, and the quick shift. And down over here. Going a little bit wide there, but carrying some momentum, I hope. Cutting down as soon as I can. This corner is kind of tricky. Uh, there may be better ways to do all of this. I just got the 30 minutes of practice ahead of time. So I'm just talking about what I've experienced so far. I didn't take this quite perfectly last time. You can really get on the green right here, just so you know. And then I use the line on the ground here as my breaking point for this. I want to turn in, just keep it shallow right here. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Always trying to go the shortest way around with this slow car. 
And then once I'm kind of fully past the left side wall over there, then staying off the gas for a decent bit. Eh. Here, just lift off, aim for the green. We're using very light throttle to make sure it's not spinning into this rumble strip before I turn in there. And then letting off the gas and just rolling all the way across on this rumble strip. You can even get it kind of caught on there. And that can actually send you through the corner pretty quick. So um, hopefully that wasn't just a big jumble mess of words running through there as I was trying to at least convey my thoughts going through that lap. But as of right now, that's going to put me in P3. But with some guys that are very fast, probably going to kick me out. Um... Make sure what you do is ignore everything I just said, and if you find out what Nicholas O. Short is doing, do what he does instead. <laughs> um, like I said, we've got some guys in here that are going to kick my butt. <laughs> Can I double click that? No, I can't. So, um, I'm going to show you here, like their I ratings and stuff. Because they are kind of enormous. I am a 3.6k on road as of right now. Um, Gianni is 9.4k. I've raced against him before and watched him disappear in the distance. And then Nicholas here is 4.3. He's currently got the pole right now. I know Gianni's got another lap though. Never mind, apparently he got an off track one lap. Why didn't his first lap count? He didn't get an off track or anything. Strange. Huh. Not sure why his first lap wouldn't have counted. But he's unbelievably fast. You don't get 9.4k I rating by accident. So there's that. And uh here here's the thing with the three. He is unbelievably fast. He's always super fast, but he is always crashing. I've been in a couple of races with this guy, and I think both the Formula B and like some Mazdas and stuff. He is unbelievably fast on his own, but as soon as he gets around other people, I don't think I've ever seen him finish a race without crashing into them. <laughs> no offense to him. I'm just speaking what I've seen from him. Like, he's the 3.0. I don't know if he can actually get any higher than that. Just, I, he finishes everywhere, every race with like 14 incidents, so... I think he gets in his own way, to be truthful. I think if he would calm it down just a smidge, he could probably win a lot more races. But, you know, he's going to do him. I'll do me. Uh, like I said, I think draft is going to be huge here because this place is, well, huge for the Formula V. Could be wrong. My first ever time doing this. And probably a lot of other people's first time doing this, but... That's the end of the session for P4. I will uh, be starting P4. A little nervous. I can see a lot of guys spinning out into turn one here. I could definitely see that happening on the cold tires. And then guys heading in side by side. This could get kind of scary. So hopefully we're not side by side ourselves. Heading into turn one. Because that is a very dangerous spot to be in. And then we'll see. We'll see if we're able to break apart from anybody. Um, we might be able to keep up with some guys that we shouldn't be able to. Like uh, Gianni up there and all that. I don't have these starts very well. I just start at 6500. Kind of like my, where I choose to shift most of the time. And hey, it seems to work okay, I guess. Watching behind, just taking it easy. Don't know why he's going that slow through the corner. He's backing off. That's really interesting. We've got a guy going for a pass. I'm going to absolutely just let him have that. No side by side yet. No sorry, not for me. Not on the cold tires. The Formula V will kill you and feel no remorse 
on cold tires. I don't know what it is about this car, but I guess maybe because it's light and, uh, I don't know, just like an open wheel car, but it is very treacherous on cold tires for at least a lap or two. And that's why uh, it's very helpful to at least have a little bit of throttle in the in the car whenever you're going around a corner. Here we moved off. Tiny, tiny bit of throttle just to make sure I'm not getting a sideways. Yeah, good right on champion. Did did the three get damage or something? I don't know. Is that why he was so off pace? I don't know what happened. We got some drafts, so I'm gonna break a little sooner. All right, Colton. The last thing I wanna do is to battle this guy head. I wanna try to catch those guys in first and second. Nick, just sit by me, mate. We'll, uh, we'll pull the gap first. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> mate, you ever, mate, you ever did that fucking rage on him? No, he's still a good guy. Rolled himself and got a spec savage. I'm not sure what may or may not have happened between the guys up there. Maybe shift in the draft right there. I'm not sure. Still have some learning to do here. We're kind of keeping even with the first two guys up there for now. Guy behind goes wide. He gets an off track there. I'm gonna work with this guy. I think I might be a little bit faster, but I don't want to pass him. He's trying to take a defensive line when I'm just trying to work with him. I guess he has given up on any hope to catch them ahead, and that's why he's defending his position instead of just trying to work with me. I don't know. You can see it, it's super speedway racing on road course, essentially. It's not my favorite, uh, unfortunately, but... You know, I would prefer, like, in road racing, I prefer whenever you can, like, hit the corners better than the guys behind and get a, get a gap, because... Holy smokes, Clear on dude. The Go left. <sighs> the of nice fight. The track. Keep it between the white lines. Okay. Wow. Well done to that guy. Hopefully we can keep up with the draft of the guy in third. Sorry, Nicholas, sorry, Nicholas. I just, he absolutely I'm missed good. his breaking point or something and nearly took us out. Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm lucky I saw that in the mirror. We're snaking down the front straightaway, trying to break draft. We got some lap cars. Maybe it's going to help us catch back up. That's interesting. Another thing about the number three, he will definitely race you just as hard while he's laps down as uh, he will as if he's on the lead lap. Like, he has definitely raced me incredibly hard while he was, like, six laps down before and kind of ruined my race in the past. So just expect that from him. He's probably gonna try to catch up okay, to those guys up there. I don't know. Ooh, a little too far to the right there, and then that kind of messed up my angle. Kind of got it figured out again. 
Thankfully, it looks like we're catching back up to third within his range once more. I hope this lap car doesn't give us any trouble. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. I think uh, in the draft, it's good to shift right there. Uh, lap car making me nervous. Left side. Clear. Okay. We are fine. We overdrove that a little bit, but we keep it on track. I think we're pretty equal speed to the three or the number five who's in third here. I think we're uh, we're closer to his level than like two guys ahead, so I think we are in a good spot to have a fun race once I catch up a little bit. I do enjoy the V. It's uh, I don't race it as much as the Mazda, but I do frequently revisit it. Okay, Colton. Don't think think short way around and then captures draft. Five minutes remaining. Um, Five minutes left. I don't race it quite as much as the Mazda, but I do frequently revisit it, uh, particularly at tracks that uh, are a better fit for this car. Like I said, places like Lime Rock, not so good in my opinion. But uh, what's a good one? What is a good one? Um, uh, I'm, I'm really bad at remembering road <laughs> names of the road courses. Much better with NASCAR stuff because I'm uh, American. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Not Olton Park. What is that one that is? Uh, I'm gonna crash myself <laughs> trying to think of it. I'll get back to you on that one. But. Um, Oren Park, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, they've got some shorter layouts on that one that are good for this car. The uh, Jefferson Circuit of Summit Point, that's pretty fun in the V as well. I like running that one. So there are a couple good fits for this car. Ooh, went a little bit wide there, that's okay. We're in the draft here. Maybe those two guys ahead will wreck each other, who knows? Actually, I think... Yeah, I <laughs> Ooh, he gets unsettled ahead. It looked like he almost crashed it. Yeah, I just I don't think you need to go all the way wide there. It's not like you're going hyper speed in the V. So I think you can take that a little shower, shallower through there. And be just fine. He's going a uh, massive draft break right there. I'm still not even going to try to bother passing him or anything, I don't think, because he's just going to have my draft behind me anyway, so there's really no reason to try to pass him. In fact, it might be detrimental to be ahead of him on the last lap, depending on distance. He goes really wide through there, but then he cuts down, so maybe there's something to that. I'm not sure. Overdrove it a little bit on exit there. Fifth. I don't know. Still undecided whether that's the way I like doing that or not through there. Got through there pretty quick. That bumper. Oh yeah, there you go. That's what I was talking about. You can like hook the uh, <laughs> curb right there, and it really sends you through the corner really well. You almost like get on a rail. <laughs> Tread lightly, of course. You don't want to overdo that, but if you can get on that curb just right, it's pretty good. If he's gonna swear, I'm gonna swear. Make him nervous. But like I said, in reality, I'm not gonna be doing anything yet. We should be coming to the white flag at the end of this lap. So hopefully we can put ourselves into position. Left side. That's why I don't like that guy. Pay attention to track limits. Clear on the left. Like, I know he's he's had multiple accounts. He keeps One getting banned. Right. Like he was just trying to wreck guys right there. I assume the five probably maybe did something to him. I don't know can't explain what his problem is, but I knew he'd be a trouble. 
as soon as I saw him in the race. Never fails. But, uh, okay, we get our first incident from that guy, having to avoid his garbage. Thankfully, we get to continue having our fun race here while he goes and pouts and cries to his mom or something. Mommy, the internet guy was mean to me. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. White flag, as, ex as uh, suspected. Suspected is how you say that word. Uh, it looks like I do want to try to maybe get around him because you don't. Know, the start finish line is actually pretty early on in this last long straight, so. You've got half your fuel left. Maybe we'll try to get around him at some point this lap. Right side. We'll give him some side by side action, see how he, he likes that. <laughs> Stay on the left. Clear Ooh, on the that doesn't turn so much out there, does it? <laughs> Haven't really done any side by side at this combo yet, so this is pretty interesting. Here's the right place to pass. I don't want to just dive bomb them, that's not how I like to race. be on the outside heading into this corner either necessarily. Ooh, I overdrove it. Ha ah, I kept the left side wheels <laughs> on the track though. Yeah, that killed him at any chance I had. Oh well, I don't really know where you would want to pass anyway, so that's okay. Good race there, that was, uh, that was fun. I figured out your lines a little bit there and uh, going deep into that left hand uh, made it a bit easier to get a better run. <laughs> so we finished fourth! Yeah, good race, dude. I, was, I thought job. I was going to take you, you out. Really well. I think we're not going to run into anybody here. Got a good finish. That's alright, man. Nah, good race. Always fun racing, dude. <laughs> yeah, Johnny's he's cool. Uh, I've been in a couple of races with him. He always wins and he's always very humble and nice about it, so. <laughs> He's a better role model than the number three is. I'll just say that. We'll go ahead and park it. And uh, maybe we'll get a look at what the three was so upset about. If anything, maybe he just wanted to cause a wreck. I don't know. But I'll take P4. I'm going to have to think in the future about how to get around. I guess I should have been, maybe just because it's my first time here, trying to kind of experiment earlier in the race to kind of find out where I can pass, what works best. Because I do think I was faster than he was, but the thing was, I just did not, uh, I didn't want to just get in front of him because then he was going to catch up with draft and then pass me and we'll be side by side and that increases our chances for Rex. And that increases our chances of the people behind catching up. So I, I don't know what the three's problem is. He didn't. Nothing happened to him at the start here. Cause that's him ahead. Did he break his car right there? Jumping over the curb. I don't know. He he just starts lifting off right here. as a character, but uh, yeah, it was a good race. Don't know what he's doing on the racing line so low.
Yeah, I wanted to wait to try overtaking, but realized later in the race that I didn't know how to pass him. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, I'm glad he didn't get taken out. <laughs> so nice people here. That's great. So. Oops, don't need to do PM. You know, you'd think the draft would make it a, an easy task, but... Just that you don't really get the run that you would expect. He's probably... I sound like an American, too, because, uh... <laughs> I think, uh, international road racers say slipstream. I'm outing myself as uh, an American, an American, using my like draft. On some tracks, it really is with these Vs. So we got people spinning out on the cold tires. I need to get better about like chatting with people and also doing the incidents. I always like just get distracted. You want to win? You need to be in second last turn on some laps. That's true. I hope we. So what happened to, uh, mm 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 he's still here by the time I'm done. So is this what the three is mad about and then blaming somebody else? Because this guy was turned on the track in front of him. I don't know, I can't explain. Like I said earlier, I can't explain anything this guy does. Can't, yeah, I guess he can't see him around this corner. I mean, you, you can maybe see him spinning right there. Kind of just nowhere to go. I mean, maybe you just take an off track there and go wide. But unable to avoid it. How many incidents did he end up with? 11. Yeah, I wasn't joking. I don't know if I've ever seen him finish a race without double-digit incidents. He always qualifies really well, maybe even leads some laps, but usually finishes near last because he slams into things. Yep. Excuse me. Oh yeah, there's where this guy tried to kill me. <laughs> my spidey senses were tingling. I'm like, alright, just taking my corner like normal, and then all of a sudden, I sense danger. <laughs> Nope, I'm not letting that happen. And then I say goodbye, man who spun. He just overcooked it majorly. Like he's like I told you, my breaking point for this corner is this line. He's still on it all the way to like right here. That's way overdoing it. And that's why he almost kills me and then also can't control his car as he's heading into the corner, so. Uh, it's a good thing I got bit by that radioactive spider, or I might not have known that was coming. The six, they're having a rough time. That's a, they've spun multiple times now. And a uh, repeat performance from the seven as well. Also having a rough time. Lots of guys probably, uh, some of their first laps out here. I mean, it was mine, too, but I also have a lot of experience in the Formula V. Maybe they also don't have that, so... Um, that, like, like that one tip I was saying before, like... Um, one thing you can do to prevent that... Well, is first of all, not overdriving it. He's still drive way overdriving into this corner. Like, how... I don't know how he expects to get around this corner, still being in the gas right there, but... Um, not overdriving the corner, but then also whenever you get off the gas, 
don't turn the wheel really hard and be completely off the gas at the same time. If you're going to be turning the wheel, try to have just the tiniest bit of throttle in it. And uh, ideally get all of your braking done in a straight line before you start heading into the corners because having brakes applied while turning can spin the thing around and then having no pedals pushed down at all while turning can also make the thing spin. So these are things I've just had to learn since uh, racing the Formula V since it came out. So, wow, is that it? Because that's the end of the race now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to see what 3 was maybe thinking other than uh, I feel like crashing someone today. There's just... Is he trying to last by, I guess? He's like going on and off the throttle. I mean, like he's driving it kind of in the middle of the lane there. Like he's, that's the racing line. You want to be over here in order to get the angle into the next corner. So if you're going to be trying to let people by, don't do it on the racing line because we're approaching this corner and you want to be right out here before you start your turn in. If you're going to be trying to let people by, be over here, out of the racing lane. Maybe the five could have like seen that he was catching up fast and gotten out of the way sooner, but also if you look, it starts looking like he's drifting to the right, so there's just, I don't see any reason why he needed to be doing all this. Like, he's so far ahead. Just a moment ago. So why is he doing this? I don't know. It's just, I swear he's just trying to cause a wreck. So that's our one incident we got, I believe. No, three. Oh, that's right. I also got 2x from that guy that came screaming at me because we made the slightest contact and then it, his loss of control got attributed to me as well. So that kind of stinks. Probably going to lose some uh, safety rating from this one. Thank goodness they're keeping me off the, the road here in my dangerous driving. <laughs> keeping my safety rating in check. Nah, but... Wow. Well, thankfully, I don't crash it. So I'm not... I'm not expecting this all to happen this way, too. I'm expecting this guy to go around the uh, outside of him. I'm also not expecting him to just be completely parked in the middle of the road. But... It's okay. We figured it out. And, uh, hey, that'll do it. So, um, hopefully some of what I did here might be useful if you plan on running it. I'm not the best by any means, but, uh, only six seconds behind a guy that's 9.4k I rating, so that can't be too bad, right? <laughs> and, uh, part of being that far behind was just dodging guys. And, uh, I think another good thing to keep in mind is, uh, passing's not as easy as you may think. I think I should have maybe tried overtaking him a little sooner. I had my opportunities, but I waited too long and assumed it would be easier than it was. So, very interesting combo. It raced a little bit better than I expected. There's enough, like, technical sharp corners that it can make it interesting, but still just a little bit too draft-happy for my tastes in the Formula V. But uh, still some fun to be had, I think. So, that will do it. Thank you for watching a Formula V race for the first time in a while on my channel. I hope you have a good one, and I will see you next time.